From the worlds of sport, music and television, they arrived at Carrow Road. At the centre of it all, young Jamie Abbotts, in whose honour the game was named. Football mad, ambassador for the club's Community Sports Foundation and joined by more than 7,000 fans to support the Foundation's Sporting Life Appeal, dedicated to making sports like football accessible to everyone. Well, first of all, I'm standing in a hole. That's why I seem so short compared to Jake, yeah. of course. I'm on so. a stool. <laughs> but no, it's just um, the idea came about is to raise money for charities, of course, and uh, the Community Sports Foundation I'm an ambassador for and um, raising money for the Sporting Life Appeal is a great way to to raise money for them and, and by playing a football match. I mean, what an easier way for, for myself and a few celebrity friends to come along and, and do their bit and uh, raise plenty of money, and that's what it's all about, you know? It's very important for everybody who's involved, especially with Jamie's friends, the Sport Night Bill. This is one of the most biggest events, apart from the Premiership, ever to the football club. As soon as Darren called and said this is the plan, I was desperately keen to be involved. I'm, I'm already involved with the Community Sport Foundation, the Sporting Light Appeal, and I knew that all the money raised from tonight was going to be for charity, which is the main thing. Um, but then the chance to run out at Carra Road, you know, a Premier League football ground still, um, is an amazing thing to, to get the chance to do. This is probably the most competitive game we've had so far. I think it's going to be a, a decent game all round, but um, on my side we've got Anthony Agogo, We've got Danny Jones from McFly on one side. Um, we've got, God, I mean, the list is endless, really. It's a, dec it's a decent side, you know, and Jeff Brazier at the back with Ewan Roberts, I mean, a solid back four as well. Now, I've had a look at our team. We've got some half decent players. Uh, we've got, we got uh, Darren Huckabee, so, you know, that's exciting to play against someone who really kind of cut their teeth in a premiership. The other team are a little bit sharp as well. We have the return of Dean Ashton. And then we've got the other half of McFly that's here this evening. So we've got Harry Judd. We've got Harvey down on our left wing, and he's a really fast player as well. We've got Kai Stones from the X Factor in the middle of the park. So we've got a really decent team as well. We've got some good players. And all smiles at the end. Well, I don't know as long as we win. Enjoy it, boys. Good luck, man. Best pal. They're doing really well to generate such a big crowd, such a lot of interest, and obviously that benefits us. We get a wonderful game and it's always a charity that benefits as well, very worthy charity. It's lovely to see some of the people that that's going to affect as well today. It says a lot about people in Norfolk and Suffolk, they all coming from all over to come here, especially tonight for Jamie's game. It's absolutely fantastic support we're getting, excellent. Well, I'm not normally used to this, to be honest. It's uh, the visiting team dressing room, but having played in the, uh, the first team dressing room quite a lot, it's quite nice to be in here because you've had all the greats through here, see? The away team, this is the way it's all the, this is where all the stars come. A bit hectic in here at the moment, as you can see, with a lot of lads coming in. We've got uh, we've got Frankie Fryer from Soccer AM. Oh, mate, top man today. He's going to give a bit of a oosh. Give a bit of a oosh. How about that? At this point, I usually sort of shake the camera, so I don't know if you're happy with that, but I've done it anyway. So happy we've got James Phelps here from uh, Harry Potter, one of the Weasley brothers. So up today, we're rather late, so we're trying to rush through it at the minute and get through everybody and get it sorted for, for the game as we go on. And uh, I think mean, you can see one of the busiest, as we would expect, is Danny from McFly. Quick little word for the Damra can. Hey, mate. Hi. Sing a tune, sing a song. Oh, is this live? Yeah, it is, mate. Yeah, it's a live sing a song. What are you on about? <laughs> Welcome to the dressing room. <laughs> I'm about to get naked. Well, he's not. That's the problem, see. We're all getting changed now. We've only got about 10 minutes, so we're supposed to be out warming up, so we ain't got too long, but we've got. Uh, he put us on separate teams, as he told you. Yeah, he did. Split did. the boys yeah, up. But we've got the best team, so that's all right. Like that. And we've got Anthony Agogo, of course, here. Legend, boxing champion of the future, already in his pro debut. Nailed two out of two, big star of the future. Muhammad Ali looks as well, so <laughs> watch out. Someone's going to get a dig from me and I'll do him I'm in. I'm no good at football, I'm no good. I will see, he's playing up front for me tonight, so he's, he's never going to get a chance to score make, Car Road make again. Look he? good. He's never going to get a chance to score Car Road again. Tonight's the night. Who do you want to win and why? Uh, the Huckabee. You want Huckabee's team to win, whoever he's playing for, yeah? Yes. So time for the talking to stop and the action to begin as the teams made their way out to a warm and hugely enthusiastic welcome from the 7,000 strong crowd. A brilliant atmosphere at Carrow Road, everyone including young Jamie already enjoying this big night and we'd only just begun. Time for kickoff and the goals soon flowing, in one end at least.
And in case you blinked, that's 6 1 to Darren's 11 at half time. Not quite going to plan. Yeah, it's going exactly to plan. The aim was always to be 4 or 5 1 down at the end of the first half. Swap things around, and then in the second half, we come back. And we, we thought that way we could give the crowd a great comeback yes. moment. I think the aim of the game with regards to the team talk. Um, I should try and get Darren Huckabee on my team. <laughs> Super. That's, that's what I want to do. Half-time entertainment, courtesy of Britain's Got Talent star Ronan Park, among others. No Hux. Don't need him. We've had a little conversation. Say hello to Derry. It's Derry. Like a secret weapon in the second half. <laughs> you just got to score these six. You all right with that? Yeah, I'm cool with that. No pressure. I don't know if you know, but Mr Humphrey was trying to poach you from your team to go and play for him. No, I don't like losing and we're winning, so that's how it works. But good as his word, the Jake's 11 comeback was soon underway. You boys going to make a difference. So the plan is coming together. Yeah, this was all in the Humphrey master plan. <laughs> I'm going to be kind of busy the next few football seasons, but I still think I could have juggled the Man United job with this one. Um, <laughs> we shall see. I thought David, David Moyes um, is an infinitely better manager than me, I can tell you that much. I'm just standing here looking the part like this. Well, it's working so far. Yeah. Three down, three more to go. This is where we go and win the game. Extraordinary. The team's now locked at 7-7 into the closing stages, and still the drama wasn't over. Enter super sub Jamie Abbott. It's Jamie's game. It's 89 minutes, and Jamie is surely going to take the penalty. Remarkable scenes. Jamie fires home the last minute winner from the penalty spot. What a goal, what a night, what a celebration. It's great to be a part of it and uh, Jamie finished it off in style, so it's amazing. It's a great day and I'm proud to be involved and thanks for having me. The winners of tonight's Jamie's game are Jake's 11! Unlucky, Darren. <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm devastated, honestly. You never take that out of you. you know, you always want to win, but um, I know it was fitting to get Jamie on in and score a goal like that. It's just, yeah. you know, it just makes everybody's night, and, and that's what we're here for at the end of the day. 
Still hate losing, but it was great, you know, fantastic night. It's all about Darren and his guys being such good sports, you know. I'm no decent footballer. And it was just lovely to give Jamie his big moment on the pitch. And, you know, Darren says, I hate losing. I know Darren Huckabee hates losing. They're all winners tonight because these guys have done an amazing thing tonight for, for charity and for Jamie. Yeah, that's what we try and do. We go around and arrange these games for charity and raise money for people that we can help support, and, and particularly for this sport in Light Appeal, through, you know, disadvantaged people through, through helping with sport. And we all have to play football at the end of the day. And what a way to raise money for charity than playing football. You know, it's been a great night. And, you know, hopefully again next year. Let's do it again. And he still hasn't lost it, has he? Yeah, rematch next year. Well done, Jess. Rematch. Great, well played.